Let's see what limerence is and what are some of the signs of limerence. Limerence is an intense, obsessive attraction towards someone. Limerence has this obsessive nature that we have to think about the person even if we don't want to. Another sign of the limerence is that it's not based on our relationship with the person. It's only based on our idealizations and imaginations with that person. So we might not even know the person we are experiencing limerence with, but we tend to think about them, fantasize about them, and even create this imaginary future with them. And we tend to focus on their positive traits and overlook their negative traits. Another sign of limerence is that it's usually not mutual. So the other person doesn't know what we are feeling and doesn't feel the same for us. Another sign of a limerence is that we are really afraid of getting rejected from that person. Because at some level we know that the person is not matched with us and everything we are thinking about is just our own fantasies. There are different reasons why limerence might happen. One of them is that some of us are experiencing anxiety or obsessive compulsive tendencies and it creates a situation that makes it easy for us to be overly focused and obsessed with something. Another thing that causes limerence is having unmet emotional needs. When we don't get what we need as a child in terms of love and attention that we need, we tend to meet those needs with different tools and imagination and overthinking can be one of those tools. And another reason for limerence is lack of responsibility. So in normal healthy relationship, you have to take responsibility, you have to pay the price of being with someone and you have to work with your partner to have that good relationship. But in limerence, because everything is in your mind, you don't have to take any responsibility, you don't have to approach people, you don't have to build a meaningful connection. It's free and easy without having any responsibility. The first step to be free of limerence is identifying some signs of limerence and label them when they happen. So let's say you're experiencing limerence with someone. Every time that you have those obsessive thoughts and emotions, you can label those emotions and thoughts as limerence and separate yourself from those thoughts and emotions. Most people are not able to separate themselves from their minds. They have to go to therapy or they have to practice mindfulness for a long period of time in order to gain control of their mind. So seeking a therapy or practicing mindfulness is also a really good suggestion for being free of mind's obsessions and limerence.